Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade from a Dell S3220 DGF A00, an A01 or an A02 to a new A03 panel that now allows 120Hz through HDMI for PC and consoles. That's the only thing the other panels could not do. I'm going to show you where to go to actually get the replacement, what you need to say to qualify for the exchange, what you're going to need to do so you can have all your documentation ready so when Dell asks for it, they'll have it right there good to go no waiting because depending on who you get it might take some time so it's better to have everything right there so you're not scrambling to get any information what happens during the work order and the finished part what happens when you're done with everything and when you can expect to get your monitor do all this through twitter at dell cares because dell did care and i actually got my replacement through dell cares that's funny right so let's begin Remember, I stress myself out for you so you don't have to. So please, if you find this video helpful, please leave me a like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into it. So for the first part, you're gonna have to go to Dell Cares. You can see right here at Twitter, and you're gonna DM them, direct message them through Twitter. This is what I did, and this is the easiest and fastest way to get a response from Dell. You can also call them or email them, which I have had no luck doing, me personally. I'm sure other people have, but I'm just telling you what I went through. I just went through the Dell Cares at Twitter.com. But again, you can go through whichever way you want. They're going to ask you to validate the monitor, meaning you have to send them a receipt of the monitor of purchase because they have to make sure that you did buy it and that there's a valid warranty. And don't worry, even if you haven't registered the warranty, you know, when you get your monitor, you're supposed to register. Even if you haven't done that, this is what that process is. They're going to validate your monitor that you did buy it and make sure you have the three year advanced exchange warranty. You can screen cap the image from your mobile phone. Just take a picture of the name with the item order number from Best Buy, Amazon, wherever you got it from and send that to them as a screen cap. It's going to take about three to five days for them to validate the item. Either while or after they validate it, they're going to ask you what's the reason. It's really simple. You're going to say you have an A00, an A01 or an A02 and that you qualify for an exchange to an A03 panel due to the A03 being able to send 120 Hz signal through HDMI as prior panels could not. And then you're going to also state see Chris M Dell moderator info and then you're going to screen cap the Chris M image file that I'm going to display for you in a bit. Screen cap that, send them that information. He's a Dell moderator that actually says what you're supposed to do. Screen cap that, send that after you send them this reply so they can see what you're talking about. But we'll get to more of that in a bit. I'll have all the screen caps for you so you can screen cap it on your phone or on your computer and you could send that to them to make it easier for them to understand what you're asking for and to get this item exchanged faster and further along. If you don't send them anything, many people don't know what you're talking about even though they're supposed to, but many don't know and they need information. During the Twitter conversations, they always kept on saying they need to validate, validate, validate. They wanna cover everything on their end, but as long as you do these screen caps, you should have no issues and no problem. After you tell them why you qualify for the exchange, they're gonna ask you to take a picture of the back panel of your monitor. So just make sure you get your service tag, your express service tag, and the serial number and the panel number. Make sure you remove all the cables to make sure everything is nice and clean and legible. And next to it on a piece of paper, you're gonna write your full name, your reference number that they're gonna give you after validation. They're gonna give you a reference number, so they're gonna, you're gonna put that in your phone number and the date that you do this, that's the day you put. They just basically wanna validate that it's you who has the monitor, that you have proof of the monitor, even though you have the receipt already, you're gonna to have to put the day's date, the phone number, so they can contact you if they have to. Just make sure everything is legible, the picture is clear. So after you send them the picture and then they actually reference everything, they approve everything, they're gonna actually give you another number. Then they're gonna ask you for your name, your address with the zip code, your email address and your phone number. They need your email address so they can send you the work order, delivery instructions, everything. They're gonna give you that number so you can see everything going on through the work order, through the processing part when they're gonna order the part and when it will be delivered to your home. That takes another three to five days and then you're finished. You're gonna get a validation reference number message to you through Twitter and they're gonna message you through email so you can track delivery. It's that simple. It, all in all, it takes about a week but I would say two weeks, so don't worry if they don't answer you that fast. They will answer you currently right now as you know what's going on in the world. 
they are experiencing heavy messaging and call volumes so it's just a little bit of patience again i just did this last week it took me about two weeks from the start to the end of getting the actual monitor at my home. I was really surprised of how fast I got it, but I've had a lot of trouble calling and messaging as early as May. That's the summary of it. Now let's go to the screen caps. And this is the actual screen cap I use and I sent them. And it goes to reference anything before the A03 has issues on displaying HDMI at 120 Hertz at 1440p. So right here, a customer who has a revision of an A02 or earlier will only be able to get 120 Hertz if they ask for a used or refurbished S3220 DGF exchange. The customer will need to explain to technical support why they are asking for the used refurbished S3220 DGF exchange. So what I told them again was that any panel before A03, which mine was an A00, cannot send a 120 hertz signal at 1440p through HDMI. That's all you gotta say as the A03s can do that and it's stated right here. Now this is another screen cap that I just recently got from Dell. I'll have a link to this actual screen cap in the description below if you need to forward a link to them directly. Again, the more information you have, the easier it's going to be for you. So I'm trying to get you as much information as possible so you don't have any issues. And right here in the bottom, any S3220 DGF built before June 2nd, 2020, you can check in the back of the monitor for which revision you have, will not have the firmware of 1440p 120Hz. And in those cases, you can do a request for an exchange. So it's right here. The more information for you, the better. Screen cap this also. You can send the other one and this one together at your first when you're actually explaining why you want the exchange but again if they ever give you problems you send them these two screen caps and this is another screen cap i have as the edid extended display identification data was updated to include the hdmi 1440p at 120 hertz so it's just showing more validation here the a03 panel can do 1440p at 120 hertz that the other ones cannot so more information for you the better so there you have it friends that's how i got my exchange it's not hard it just takes some time take some patience but do it through dell cares on twitter and you should have no problems now remember i don't work for dell i just have this beautiful monitor it's an amazing monitor and i'm just trying to help my friends here to make this upgrade as easy as possible for you so i truly hope you get this monitor as fast as possible and i hope you found this video helpful if you did find it helpful please leave a like share comment and subscribe don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss out on a future Dell S32 DGF video. I'll see you guys next time.